Hi, dear students. Uh, in last lecture, we discussed uh, dependent and independent variable. And uh, now we will discuss the uh, graph of uh, functions. Uh, what is the graph of function and uh, why we need uh, the graphs of functions? So this question come, uh, comes in mind of uh, many students uh, that what is the physical uh, mean of mathematics or where the mathematics used in real life. To understand the physical mean of uh, mathematics uh, and use of maths in real life, uh, the first thing is to uh, is to enough familiar about the graph of function. All the function uh, like uh, algebraic functions or trigonometric function or exponential function and the algebraic equation uh, have some physical mean. So to understand the uh, physical mean we can construct the graph so uh, how, uh, the question is that how we can construct the graph of a algebraic expression so in this lecture we will discuss uh, how to construct the graph uh, before start the construction of a graph uh, first we uh, discuss uh, what is the real valued function if f is a real valued function of real variable y is equals to f of x here uh, the the function f of x is said to be real valued if the input value x is from set of real numbers if this input x is belongs to real number set then we say that uh, this function is real valued function so uh, let's suppose uh, before the construction of the graph uh, let's suppose our function is a real valued function. So uh, when uh, we say that our function is a real valued function, then we construct our graph on x axis, uh, x y, our x y plane, our quadratic plane, or Cartesian plane. So let's suppose uh, uh, now we can uh, study, now we can construct uh, the construction of graphs. Let's suppose uh, we have a function f of x f of x is equals to x so to construct the graph of f of x is equal to x uh, let's suppose our uh, we can uh, in, a, in the last lecture uh, we study our output is of f of x and we can uh, take uh, f of x is equal to y so it becomes uh, y is equals to x y is equals to x and that is uh, our uh, function now we can construct uh, the graph of this function on x, uh, x axis and y axis, x y plane. So first we put our, uh, let's suppose from a real value, real value set R, we put if x is equals to 0. If x is equal to 0, then uh, when we put this uh, value of x here, then y becomes 0. So y is also 0. So uh, we can uh, make a table uh, such like that if uh, we put x 0 our output is also 0. And now if our uh, x is 1 then what is the value of our output y? When we put here 1 then our output is also 1. Similarly when we put x is equals to 2 our output is also 2 our output is also 2 similarly when we put uh, when we put x is equals to 3 our output is also 3 here uh, we know in a real number sets the negative number also includes so we can put a negative uh, number also we uh, put a uh, minus 1 if x is equals to minus 1 then y is equals to also minus 1 because when we put minus 1 here then answer of y is also minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 when we put x is equals to minus 2 then y is also minus 2 similarly when we put uh, minus 3 the output is also minus 3 when we put minus 4 the output is also minus 4 so these uh, are here we can see that these are the pairs when we put x input 0 
our output is also zero. So we we now we construct the graph on x y plane. To construct the graph uh, on x y plane, we draw first we first we we have to we have take these points. So when x is zero, y is also zero. When x is one, y is also one. So that is the point. When x is two, y is also two. X is two and y is also two. Similarly, when x is three, y is also three. And uh, here when x is minus one. So uh, it's, it's look like that. So we see that when we join these points, they become what, what they becomes a straight line when we join these points these points so these points make a straight line so this is the function of graph it's a continuous it's not a, it's an infinite many points in this line so we uh, make a arrow here so that is a graph that is a graph of that is a graph of f of x is equals to x now we can write uh, y is equals to x also so that is a graph of a function which is f of x is equal to x now uh, if we have another function like uh, uh, x square uh, similarly same procedure uh, after the same procedure we see that uh, x uh, we put f of x is equal to y and uh, we take a point from a set of real numbers our input is x so we put uh, we put uh, x is equal to 0 our output is also 0 so 0 0 point when we put 1 is uh, x, x uh, is equal to 1 our output is also 1 so um, similarly uh, in a previous function here uh, we construct our table when we put x is equal to 2 it comes uh, becomes the our output is 4 when we put x is equal to 3 our output is 9 and uh, also we put a negative value uh, so when we put uh, minus 1 at the place of x when we put minus 1 uh, because of square it uh, make our value positive so minus for minus 1 input our output is plus 1 for negative input uh, it give us positive output so minus 2 uh, for minus 2 it give us 4 positive 4 similarly when we put uh, minus 3 it give us uh, 9 so when we uh, take this point on our Cartesian plane uh, for 0 0 that's the point for 1 1 that is our point and then we join when we join these points uh, it becomes like that so that is uh, our uh, graph of a function Let's suppose the example three. Let's suppose we have uh, another uh, example, which is uh, example three. Uh, f of x is equals to x cube. When uh, similar same procedure, uh, when we adopt the same proce procedure in our example one and example two, we construct a, a table and uh, here we make uh, we join these points and this graph becomes like that. So. Uh, that is uh, a very very uh, easy to construct our functions into graphs so like the uh, like that procedure can construct graph of any function uh, graph can provide uh, valuable uh, visual information about the function so some 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 important points uh, notes from this construction is that uh, when we draw some graphs let's suppose we draw y is equals to x square so uh, here that is our input that is our input line we say that we can say that that is our input line or our x axis when we put x value of x when we put uh, value of uh, x it give us the value of y so we we uh, we study in a previous class we say that y is equal to f of x so uh, here we write x is equals to y x y this order pair uh, is x y so it uh, also becomes uh, x, uh, we can write x and f of x and here when we put 2 it give us 4 so f of x value is 4 and x value is 
two. That is, um, uh, we can uh, find the order pair. We can find the, this point. What uh, at least at that point, what is the value of x? What is the value of three? We can study uh, in our next course uh, in a different ways uh, to construct a uh, function and find the order pair points. And uh, one one more thing. Uh, one more thing is that uh, when whenever we have uh, let's suppose if I have uh, I construct a function like that like that so where where the function close the x our x axis there are two points where this function is intercept uh, x axis so these two points are called roots of our function roots or function or solution we can also say that solution of function or these two points let's suppose this is x1 that is x2 so these two points x1 x2 we can also say that the zeros of f of x x1 and x2 are zeros of f of x this function so okay thank you for watching my video if uh, it's uh, informative for you uh, then subscribe my channel and press uh, the icon button uh, 